Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder production from Don Dalek Entertainment. Welcome to Deponia. The fifth adventure I'll be doing by Dad Dalek, a company who is keeping adventure games alive. Fantastic adventures. Whispered World, Book of Unwritten Tales, two of my favorites. Edna and Harvey, another hilariously awesome game. And of course, The New Beginning, which would have been the most recent one I've done. Also an excellent title. Well, I've heard a lot of great things about Deponia. And uh, it's very uh, cool looking. I, I mean, just the graphics and the cartoon style animation uh, sold me right away. And so I knew it's, I had to get this. I had to get a hardcover copy. And, uh, you know, I'm really uh, proud to give this to you guys. There's not a whole lot of uh, LPs of this out on the YouTube yet. This will be in true 1080p HD. And uh, for those of you who have enjoyed my commentary, uh, well, enjoy. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, the new game does start out a little slow with a tutorial, but I want to have the complete deal here. You can pick to do your inventory with the mouse wheel, which is this <laughs> would be excellent, uh, whatever, whatchamacallit, gimmick, if you will, or the good old classic click in the upper right. We'll just keep it with the, the, the mouse wheel. Huh? What is it now? Wasn't the game supposed to have started already? Yeah, well, yes, but the junk press broke down. And we thought we'd use the time for a little tutorial. Who thought that? I don't need no stinking tutorials. So how are you going to fix the junk press? Just watch me and learn. Maybe you want to listen to what I have to say first? But you don't have anything to say. Oh, come on. It won't be long. Just point the cursor at me and left click. We'll see about that. Computer, talk to Wenzel. You don't have to say that explicitly. Um, who's talking to you? Why, you are. You clicked on me. Smarty pants. Just tell me what's wrong with the junk press. And stop wiggling your feet. It's pressing only very gently now and doesn't really squish sufficiently. Hey, every idiot can see that. Well, why don't you present the tutorial then? Okay, piece of cake. But first, I'll explain, um... How to talk to somebody. How to talk to somebody. You click on a character with the mouth icon. <laughs> no, you're completely wrong. I'm talking to you using the speech bubble icon. Everyone knows there's no mouth icon in this game, but there's a speech bubble icon to talk instead. Oh, and my favorite icon, the Rufus head icon for putting on, eating, and drinking things. If you can't even understand that, how am I ever going to be able to teach you how? How to look at an object. I know that. I see. And how? I point my cursor at it and right click when I see the eye icon. Well, the theory is easy, but how about the actual practice? Hey, this is your tutorial. You're a cop out, but be that as it may, I'll demonstrate. Uh, do you see that little uh, thingy on the floor over there? I will now use the um, tongue icon. The eye icon. Yeah, I will now click on it, thusly having a look at it. So, you better watch closely. What's that? It's a cathode plunger. Thanks for the input, Wenzel, but I recognize a hydro clamp duplexer when I see one. Too bad I can only look at it. A duplexer like that could be useful. You can pick it up. You just have to point your cursor at it so the hand icon appears. If you left click now, you'll pick it up. There has to be an easier way. If you say so. Okay, I've picked up the duplexer, but what am I supposed to do with it now? You put it into your inventory. That's where all the items go. You've picked up that object. Now you can open your inventory by using your mouse wheel. Hey, there it is. Correct. This is your inventory. Yeah, I knew that. Whoa. It's where you can see what you're carrying around. You still know how to do that, don't you? Super innovative. Let's combine the yin and yang symbols. Look, Wenzel, I'm almost done. Impressive. But I mean that. Huh. 
Huh, it fits. Now you have to. Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. If you say so. Graphics are beautiful. I mean, I just I can't get over how gorgeous they are. Uh, just every little detail. Uh, the color palette is amazing. So, this is the thing I'm supposed to fix? Eh, you might as well give up now. It'll never work. Look, I know. This situation might look hopeless for a layman, but as you know, hopeless is my middle name. I'll sail this ship onto the sandbank eventually. Eh, alright. I can fix this thing. Uh, Rufus, there's one more thing. I told you I'd manage without your help. Now, all I have to do is press this button here, and right away... Ouch. Oh, how I love tutorials! The Dalek Entertainment presents... It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic about dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Junk. Junk. And more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. All right, and that leaves control up to us here in Rufus's room. Got a suitcase here. It really is time I got out of here. Ah, there's my list. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... well, guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. I can sleep when I'm dead, or if I survive and uh, get confined to bed with broken legs. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. Ew. Huh, my old escape plans. Some of them weren't half bad. Oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left Deponia without me. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. Daddy problems. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. I hear you, brother, I hear you. That's why I play the games. The games! Alright. What can be done here? Looks like some first aid kit. Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. This is Tony's room. The lion's den. Or more aptly, the dragon's lair. The dragon's lair. Ah! 
Dude. Whoa, what's that? Jesus Christ. A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together at all. Another note from Tony. What's she complaining about now? Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right. In her dreams. <laughs> nice. The shitter. Plunger. Never know when one will need a plunger. I plunge all the time. I need to. Oh, don't leave home without your toothbrush. Whoa! What the f What the... The toothbrush bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. Yeah, the toothbrush is pissed. What? Nat's piss? <laughs> Nat's piss? I'm gonna call my friend that tomorrow. You smell like Nat pissed. Boat cutters. Detergent. A little toothbrush. Hiding down there in a dark corner. I'm gonna get you. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh crap. I need a better plan to catch it. Yes, you do. No, I haven't finished packing yet. Bitching post it. <laughs> You've scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. <laughs> yes. Huh, not a chance. The handle is missing and I can't get my fingers into the cracks. Hmm, he's a sock. A hand torch, can't use that, that'll burn it down. What about a plunger? Might work. Aha. Ouch! I'm not sticking my hand in there again! You puss. Oh, well, we got a mouse trap out of it. And the plunger is used. What Nat's piss? Malicious do memo. Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. And I'll leave that damn fridge open. Because I'm a rebel. These coats are incredible. Unbelievable how much stuff you can cram into the pockets. I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Cool. A blue sock. We have a yellow, green, and blue sock The now. good old sofa. I've had plus. You can always find leftovers in it. We'll check it out. Eh. Seems there are still some wasabi peas in mm, there, but without something to put them into, nah, I'm not collecting them. 
If you haven't tried wasabi peas, you should. They're good. Oh, naggy note. This bitch leaves the You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? This guy's got issues. The mouse skedaddled long ago, which doesn't mean that its plan was better than mine. Oh, cold. That's not good. Let's get rid of this thing. Empty can on the crumbs. Eh, seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. Sweet. Wasabi pea provisions. At least I already got one sock, but I need a pair. I don't want to show up in Elysium dressed like an idiot. At least I already got, but I need a pair. I don't want to sh Well, yellow and blue equals green. We need to mix the two socks together somehow. Maybe we can fill it up here. Okay, is that water? I, if you say so. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. But, something's still missing. Hot wash. I need something flammable to start the fire. This bitch's notes in there. In you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. There we go. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot butt. I may not be an expert, but we gotta wait till it's boiling. I don't know. need ah, detergent. Put that in there. I may not be an expert, but I'm... Oh, look at that! The sock changed color. I needed Who to agitate. It? But where's the other one? Oh, clear case of sacrificial color mixing. But we have a pair of socks. All right, now to get this toothbrush here. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh. Crap. I need a better plan to catch it. Nah, I don't think this will work without the right bait. You need some bait for the toothbrush. What does the toothbrush eat? Wasabi peas. <laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise.
Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Ha! Gotcha! Ha! Gotcha! I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. Probably just by brushing your teeth. All I need now are some provisions. The bold cutter, for whatever reason, the toothbrush, uh -huh. a pair of socks, uh -huh. and that's it. That's it? We got that. Bold cutter, for whatever reason, check. Provisions, check. Socks, check. Toothbrush. Check. Ha! <laughs> Seems like I've packed everything. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Oh, seems like I've got to unpack something. But what? I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. We're gonna need a bolt cutter. <laughs> I can now feel it fits. It. Packed and ready to go. Ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah! That's what you said last time. It took us... That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure. Help yourself. As if anything in this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. <laughs> well, you know that the Organon are always on time. Whatever, Wenzel. I'm Rufus, the prepared. Hey, Stoney. There. Now where shall I put it? The storage space is closed. There. And now? There we go. If I remove the seat, it might just fit. But how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? You better figure that out. So we can leave this dump. Hello, Hannock. Hey, um, uh, well, uh, Rufus. Ah, <laughs> I'm really terrible with names. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be gone for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Did you see Tony anywhere? 
Tony. You big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah, Tony. Well, I guess she's down in her store, working like everybody else, except you. I'll finally leave this junk heap of a planet. Huh. Oh yeah, another one of your brilliant plans? This time, it's absolutely foolproof. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You being a fool and all. But I reckon you running around here has got nothing to do with any other problems. No, it hasn't. <laughs> well, good for you. Okay, the plan itself is foolproof, but... Here we go. I just need to prepare the capsule for the launch, adjust the harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime! Uh-huh. Then what? The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the chain with a pedal-operated winch system and pull myself and the pod up. I see. And then? Then, the cruiser will bring me directly to Elysium. Well, I really don't see how this plan of yours could go wrong. I don't know where to put the battery. Well, then just get rid of something in there that you don't need. Do you really think that I built in stuff that I don't need? Nothing at all? Nothing in there you built in just to make that capsule a bit more comfortable? <laughs> no. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll make it. Sure. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. Ooh, I like chili peppers. Ouch! Hot! Seriously? It's my kind of chili pepper. <laughs> New problem. Wow, oh. it's screwed tight. Ain't nothing too tight for me to screw or unscrew. Wait a minute, what the hell you got a mailbox for? Not sure this would be very comfortable, but it's worth a shot. Hmm. I might be able to do without this. Ha! There you go. Ha! There you go. There. The capsule is ready. Now, all I have to do is calibrate the harpoon. There. Too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then, I'm gone. Ha! <laughs> this will be a walk in the park. As you can see, we can go southeast, southwest, northeast, southeast, different directions here. Top left and left top are, however, blocked.
We're trying to get it so that it's here. Light the fuse and boom! Boo. Shakalaka. Well, that should be it. Stand by, Wenzel. Ah. Who's this bitch? Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck. That means I can't say anything wrong. No, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. What a bitch! I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. Now is when it counts. Hullabaloo! Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Ow. Holy shit, that was painful, man. Uh. Alright, folks. We'll see you next video for more Deponia. Thanks for watching.